Welding is the fabrication process whereby two or more parts are fused together by means of heat, pressure or both, forming a joint or the part cools. Some materials require the use of specific processes and techniques. The parts are, that are joined are known as parent material. The material added to help them form the joint is called the filler or consumable. Consumables are usually chosen to be similar in composition to the current material, thus forming a homogeneous weld. But there are occasions, such as when welding brittle cast iron, when a filler with a very different composition and therefore properties is used. These welds are called heterogeneous. Welding is more than the industrial applications we associate with it. Welding is a lot of fun and what's more, it could also improve your daily life. Welding also provides you with a means of increasing your income, especially if you sell your projects. Like we always say, welding is not just for professionals working in the manufacturing industry. It is also a great hobby for anyone who wants to repair or build things for fun and recreation. Welding projects can help welders of any skill level increase their knowledge and understanding of techniques, fundamentals and skills. Whether you are just getting started or have been welding for quite some time, there are several welding projects that you can do. Hello hello reviewers, welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you simple welding projects from solid metal bars you can do as a beginner welder. This video contains a collection of beautiful and practical metal welding projects you can tackle at home. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring project for your next welding adventure. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Bar stock is a common form of raw purified metal used by industry to manufacture metal parts and products. Bar stock is available in a variety of extrusion shapes and lengths. The most common shapes are round, circular cross section, rectangular, square, and hexagonal or hex. A bar is characterized by an enclosed invariant convex cross section, meaning that pipes, angle stocks, and objects with varying diameter are not considered bar stock. Bar stock is commonly processed by squeezing a sequence of sewing, turning, milling, drilling, and grinding to produce a final product, often vastly different from the original stock. In some cases, the process is partly automated by specialized equipment which feeds the stock into the appropriate press processing machine. Most metal produced by a steel mill or aluminum plant is formed via rolling or extrusion into long continuous strips of various sizes and shape. These strips are cut at regular intervals and allowed to cool, each segment becoming a piece of bar stock. A good analogy is pasta making in which lumps of dough are extruded into various cross-sectional shapes, cut into lengths and then dried in that form. The cross-sectional shapes of pasta vary from simple bar to tube shapes to more elaborate extrusions. The same is true of metal bar stock. The most common shapes are round, also called road, 
rectangular bar including a square bar, a special case of equal sides, and hexagonal bar usually called hex bar for short. Tube and pipes are similar but have hollow centers and are traditionally not called bar in industrial usage. Also similar in concept but not called bar are the common structural shapes such as angle, stoke and channel stoke. These are commonly available in steel and aluminum. The names angle iron and channel iron are still commonly used informally even though their literal names sake. Road iron has been replaced by steel and aluminum for most uses. Look around you. There are limitless number of welding projects you can make by using solid bars. This includes storage structures, playing toys, furniture utensils, shapes, flower holders, lamp holders, plant stands, and so much more. Solid bars form a uniform shape when bent. They do not fail or deform as hollow tubes do. Thus, they are ideal for projects involving bending as well. Their strength is also unbeatable as compared to hollow tubes. Probably their only limitation is their weight, which could be an issue in applications where lightness is required. The most widely used welding technique is arc welding or stick welding, which uses a welding power supply to create and maintain an electric arc between an electrode and the base material to melt metals at the welding point. They can use either direct current or alternating current and consumable or non-consumable electrodes. The welding region is sometimes protected by some type of inert or semi-inert gas known as a shielding gas and filler material is used as well. To supply the electrical power necessary for arc welding process, a variety of different power supplies can be used. The most common welding power supplies are constant current power supplies and constant voltage power supplies. In arc welding, the length of the arc is directly related to the voltage and the amount of heat input is related to the current. Constant current power supplies are most often used for manual welding processes such as gas tungsten arc welding and shielded metal arc welding because they maintain a relatively constant current even as the voltage varies. This is important because in manual welding it can be difficult to hold the record perfectly steady as a result the arc lengths and thus voltage tend to fluctuate. Constant voltage power supplies hold the voltage constant and vary the current and as a result the most often used for automated welding processes such as gas metal arc welding, flux code arc welding and submerged arc welding. In these processes, arc length is kept constant since any fluctuation in the distance between the wire and the base material is quickly rectified by a large change in current. For example, if the wire and the base material get too close, the current will rapidly increase which in turn causes the heat to increase and the tip of the wire to melt returning it to its original separation distance.
well there we was as you can see in the video there are a number of metal welding projects you can do as a beginner welder by using uh, solid bars or metal bars we have compiled a number of interesting welding project ideas which one is your favorite please let us know in the comment section and give us your reason why you choose it to be your favorite by now you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your project from time to time if you like our content please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos thank you for watching until the end we look forward to seeing you in our next video until then stay safe and stay blessed